Questions six, seven, and eight all have to do with um, a model scenario in which we get the um, total emissions of carbon to more or less stabilize uh, for a good part of the model run. So to do this experiment, first we'll, we'll run the basic model, the control version. So just hit the run button. Then we follow the instructions on the question to set it up to get to a, um, a scenario where the emissions more or less stabilize. So to do that, we're going to turn on all the switches. We're going to set the um, new fraction to 0.15. That would be 15% for each of these. So that's a, a decent reduction in, in uh, our reliance on fossil fuels. We're going to make the transition be a little bit slower, so we'll move the adjust time to 10. And then we're going to change the per capita energy um, history. And normally when you open this, you just see this graph. If you click on the table here, you see individual entries. And, and we're going to alter this as follows. So 74 there, 72, and this is 70. This is going to be 67, um, 64, and 61. This is just another way to alter that graph, so you hit OK. And you see that graph is declining uh, slightly over time. Keep the population limit um, at uh, 10. OK. So now we'll, uh, that's 11, I want to get it to 10, there we go. Now we'll run the model. You can see that that, that gives us this um, emissions history that's more or less stable. So that's staying the same. And you can see what the emissions are in the year 2100. Gets us down to 6.14 um, gigatons of carbon in the year 2400. Now, what kind of a temperature change does that cause? That's uh, question number seven. Um, so we can look on page three of the graph pad here. So the temperature change in the year 2100 is 1.91 degrees, as opposed to 3.92 for the control version. So that's your answer to number seven. And then number eight asks this question of, um, so we stabilize the emissions. Does the temperature stabilize? And and uh, the the CO two concentration in the atmosphere. Well, okay. So that you can see right away the temperature does not stabilize. It continues to rise. It's just not rising as fast as it does in this control case here. So to look at the at the PCO two, we go to page nine of the graph pad here, and there you see. The, the CO2 concentration of the atmosphere starts off at about 400, a little bit less than that in 2010. And then by the time you get to 2100, we have a, a CO2 concentration in the atmosphere in this altered version of 484, uh, and that's parts per million, as opposed to 851 for the control version. But look, even the, the, um, the CO2 concentration that doesn't stabilize either. That continues to go up. And so it's not enough to just stabilize uh, carbon emissions. Clearly, we need to actually get them to reduce if we want to um, bring the CO2 concentration down to a lower level and kind of keep it stable. And if we do that, CO2 concentration and temperature are very closely linked together in this model. So they'll generally do more or less the same thing.